Stop coming to Atlanta thinking this shit gonna solve all your problems. Cause it's not. But this shit is not for the weak, boy. That CPN you think, that's fire? That shit ain't nothing out here, boy. We done ran that shit in the ground. Them folks not falling for that shit. So your real credit ain't up to par. Hey, man, yeah, better tap in one of them gurus online, goddamn. Oh, you better buy them folks goddamn packages. You better listen to them folks. Everybody that came here, you got the New York niggas, you got the Detroit niggas, you got the Chicago niggas, everybody mix they game up, and now this shit some whole other shit. Don't even waste your time moving out here, bruh. Because you, you making the rent go up out there, bitch. Cause they ain't building all them goddamn condos in midtown for us. They building for y'all stupid ass. Niggas in Atlanta already went down there, got evicted, and we know better. So we gonna go back down to the outskirts, and we gonna got down, you know what I mean? You might have been lit back in your, your, your city. But when you move to Atlanta, that shit ain't nothing. Like them track hawks and them scats and shit, them hellcats will probably get your meat sucked left and right back home. But I hear, but listen, man. Your bitch might have one of them, huh? But these niggas got cullinons and lamb trucks and all kind of shit. And this how you know you live in Atlanta, bruh. You got to have the full jewelry kit. The goddamn chains with an ash, nigga. And not you more tonight, boys. Like, bruh, your car can't be goddamn three years. Like, it can't be the old body style, bruh. So if it's 2024, nigga, the latest your shit can be like a 21. See what I'm saying? And then another thing, but you got to be hitting so many magic. Hey, lit nigga, I know got a got got some fine and magic he hit. We about to pull up and blow a bag on my little magic bitch. And then don't feel played if you ain't one of them niggas. Get on your grind, nigga. Join the men's group, nigga. The reason this video is so important to me because this is what I want to talk about. About men aren't being competitive no more. Right? See, men will avoid going to Atlanta. People will avoid going to Austin. People will avoid going to L.A. People will avoid going from New York City and Chicago and other areas. Miami. Let's talk about women for a second. <laughs> That's a new subject, right? Women who go to Miami or L.A., <laughs> they know if they go to Miami, competition's high. Okay? You can... These women who go to Miami and they're, they're a little overweight, not in good shape, Miami's going to expose the hell out of them. They think they're going to get down there and just be able to throw their coochie around and it's just going to work on those men. It's not going to work in Miami. It's not going to work in L.A. Okay. Those are the spots you do not go to if you want to compete as a woman. For men, you don't, don't go to Atlanta. Don't you go to New York City. Don't you go to L.A. Don't you go to Miami. Okay. Even don't go to Dallas, Texas. Don't you go to these spots if you're not willing to get out there and compete. And I'm not talking about compete for women. I'm talking about compete in the world. See, you, if you think you're a great YouTuber until you come to Austin, you think you're making great content, you think you that dude, come to Austin. You're going to see it's a different world out here. We're becoming a content creator place. It's crazy. You don't want to be in Austin. You're not willing to put in that grind. Let me tell y'all something, man. We're going to break this down a little bit more. It's a world at least I understand a little bit. I'm not that proficient in everything. But I can tell you one thing. <clears throat> Austin and Atlanta. <clears throat> YouTube is the business out there. YouTube is not a game out there. YouTube is not. Hey, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my new channel. Let's get it going. No, 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 no. For the people who don't understand YouTube and how brand deals work out, how sponsorships work out, how to become part of these bigger companies. You see these YouTubers who are some of these few YouTubers that become actors or you see some of these YouTubers get on TV. Y'all see some of these YouTubers get their own shows. You see some of these YouTubers. See what y'all think is crazy. Y'all think that YouTube for some people is just a, a game. <clears throat> oh, no. In these big cities. There's money to be thrown around. Okay. I know of YouTubers who, who make anywhere from 100 to 200 grand a month on their YouTube. You have no idea. And obviously y'all hear about these other big YouTubers, but I don't include those guys. <clears throat> the, the YouTubers who do all the pranks and fighting, I, I don't mess with them. I'm talking about businessmen who are pulling in easy 100 to 200K a month from YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I understand that us men love love being on top it is so fun 
to be able to show off your cars, be able to show off your jewelry, be able to show off all these things. Because some part of you wants to say, I made it. I completely understand that. I'm not against that. You, you can't stay at the top. I, if you work in sales, if you've ever worked in sales, I've worked in sales. You can't be number one all the damn time. It's just impossible. Okay. But you can always be in the mix. However, let me say this. You got to learn that lingo. You got to learn that world. You got to completely change your mind if you really want to go to these cities. See, we used to make fun of people, right? Who used to move to L.A. to try to start their music career, or start their acting career because we thought, ha, you know, what are you doing? Are you stupid moving to L.A.? You think you're going to make it? And some people do. To me, YouTube is still that kind of world. A lot of people may think they can come over to YouTube, move to a big city, New York City, Austin, L.A., Houston, Atlanta, Miami, once again, Chicago. I think they can move to these big cities and they're just going to blow up. Mm -mm. See, because with people in those cities, they don't take YouTube as a game. They don't take YouTube as let's have some fun. They don't take YouTube as I'm going to react to a couple channels. There's a whole business running behind that thing, boy. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars come in. Y'all know who Berlin is, right? Berlin. I Berlizzi, some of y'all may know him by. Y'all y'all saw him in the State Farm commercials, right? Y'all may think that's a funny. <laughs> no, that's a business. Go go listen to Berlin on his podcast. Go actually listen to the some bros. Listen to how they mind is. Getting to a million subscribers is special for them, but they don't, it's not like that for them. They know the business opportunities behind getting a million subscribers. It ain't just about celebrating and getting no damn plaque. This is about the money that can change your whole family's life for the rest of their days. That's how people are treating it because the vast majority of us are never going to go to the NBA. We're not going to the NFL. This is it for us. Now, it ain't for everybody. Okay, other people will make get their break their bones and everything in the corporate world. Okay, that's fine. There'll be executives and stuff like that. But YouTube can be that for us too. We can break our bones here. It's a slow churn for some of us. I'm a slow churner. Slowly churning. But I'm telling y'all guys. I'm taking this stuff serious. I'm learning more about YouTube. I'm learning more about not just making a video and a thumbnail and a title. It's much deeper than that. The work you have to put in to understand this. And I'm going to explain it to you guys as I experience more. But the stuff you got to put into this makes me really feel like, you know what? I might be the hot shit in my city. But if I go there, if I start talking with them boys, hearing the money deals they make, oh, it's a whole nother light. My life was changed when I saw YouTubers bringing in $100,000, $200,000. Black men. I'm a black man. I saw black men who are in professions who easily be cooking millionaires on YouTube. You'll never know because they not like some of these stupid YouTubers we see. Okay. And when I say stupid, I mean, they're going about it the wrong way. They're ignorant. And let me not say stupid. Let me say ignorant YouTubers who get into this whole game and forget it's a business. And they get all this money. And what's the first thing they start doing? They start showing you off their houses. They start showing you how many cars they got. They start showing y'all what they got on their wrist. They start acting stupid. Ace family. <laughs> they start being goofy. Y'all see all these family channels and all these other channels. And as soon as they get that money, they start doing all this. It's the same thing we see in hip hop country, the music we see in acting. There's the actors who got money that they don't be flaunting it. They ain't trying to show it off. They know what it's about. They know what the real deal is. And then you got all these other rappers or you got these actors, the country artists who show it all off. Big mud trucks and all that stuff. So these YouTubers that I know, and I know a YouTuber actually pretty well who makes a lot of money on YouTube. I'm surprised he still talks to me because I'm so small, but he makes a ton of money a year on YouTube. But you never know because he never shows his money, man. Ever. He only shows you the content, but you have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. This YouTube stuff, man, I, I and to be honest with you, there's going to be two types of YouTubers. You can pick which category you want to be in, but I'm, 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 I'm off one of these trains. You can pick that. You could be that YouTuber. 
Hey guys, if you really want to be successful on YouTube, just go with your passion and that's all you need. The money will come. Or you could be like, like these other dudes like, hey man, you can go with your passion and be on YouTube. But hey baby, it's a business and you need to learn business. You need to learn how business works. You need to learn how marketing works. You need to make sure you have contracts and a lawyer. You, <laughs> you need to know have a contract, have a lawyer that can type that up for you. You need to learn your value. All this, hey, I charge 30 bucks for uh, an ad read. Throw that shit out the window. Don't you ever put a value on yourself like that, baby. This is business. You do not give somebody... I charge $1,000 for me to uh, have a 30 second read. Mm -mm -mm. You ask different questions. What's your purpose? Are you trying to, are you trying to do a conversion? Are you trying to do awareness? What is your goals working with me? Now, obviously, if you're reaching out to the company, it's different. But like, here's what I can do. Here's this. How about we, or and you guys got to learn to start being professionals. You better learn how to hop on a damn Zoom call. And be able to talk what the needs are of that company is and how you can be of service to them. And y'all can talk numbers then. But y'all gotta learn how to get on a Zoom call. Y'all gotta learn how to start being professional. This whole uh I have a I have five hundred thousand subscribers and that's it. No, that's not how you speak. No nobody cares about that. It's huge companies that they don't care that you have five hundred thousand subscribers and you get a million views a month. Okay? That's how suckers negotiate. They say, I, I got 500,000 subscribers. I get a million. I get 5 million views a month. Here's my price. Mm -mm -mm. You've got to start thinking like a businessman. You need to move to Atlanta and ch get around them dudes. But don't you go working your ass over there if you're not willing to put in the work. Don't go wasting people's time. And I'm just using Atlanta as a thing, right? It can be anywhere. I don't care. I'm just using this as a metaphor. But you need to learn business and become a professional because as much as people, like I said before, and I'm going to shut up. People don't understand. So YouTube today is what them boys used to do in the stock market, if y'all understand. Those boys who used to be brokers and they used to just find a way to get that money to come in. There's a difference between somebody who's a broker and somebody who's making money being a broker. <laughs> two different people. There's people who are YouTubers and there's people who make money doing YouTube. You need to be over. If this is what you want, if you just want to make videos for fun, have a good time, laugh, be happy all the time, and you know, mental health, blah, blah, blah. Fine. Now, hey, the same for you. And I'm not, obviously, I'm not talking about people who have mental health issues. I'm talking about people who are just like, well, I stopped making YouTube videos because I got burned out. Okay, so you were thinking wrong the whole time. You, you, you thought. You suckers who get in here and just be like, hey, you know what, man, I, I just couldn't make YouTube videos because I had to focus on myself. No, 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 no. Treat it like a business. Do you get to just quit going to work? No. No. If you're going to have to take those breaks, you need to plan for them. Because every day you take off, and I know this is going to be crazy to say, but sometimes, damn it, you're going to have to be sad and work. Some days you're going to be depressed and you still work. It just is what it is. You really want to change your family's life. And I know this is hard saying it, but damn it, you can't take a break every time life gets hard. You can't take a break every time you feel that burnout coming. You got to start making some damn plans and figure it the... F Ooh, not going to curse. You need to start putting some plans together and figuring it the F out. Because this could be money that could change your family's life. Forever. Or, you can go another route. Don't do all this. Have fun. Do your passions. But you're going to end up in a retirement home at the end of your days. And your family is still going to struggle. And you'll probably be in debt the vast majority of your life. Until you're in your 50s and you finally get out of debt from all them damn student loans. All those loans you have to take out. And now you're in a... Now you're in a you don't even get the... It's going to sound real bad. You don't even get to die in peace in your own house. Let alone a hospital. You're going to die at a retirement home. I, I live in a city right now. Where I get this, I live in a town, but I get to see people all the time who die. We've had what four or five people die here in the last few months in a retirement home over here with nobody. I had we had two men in the last six months blow their heads off. That how you want to go, man? Because they couldn't afford the. 
We had two men in my town blow their heads off because they couldn't afford to take care of them, themselves no more. The bills were stacking up. And they just couldn't handle it. And they took matters into their own hands. And guess who gets left with all that money? Wives. Two women got widowed because these men just couldn't keep going. And these men, these aren't men who were falling apart necessarily. Sometimes when a man takes his life, it's because he sees no purpose in his life anymore. It ain't always because he was down and out all the time. Sometimes like men are like, you know what? I can't pay these bills. Uh, I can't, I can't take care of my family. I'm broke. What's my purpose? I got none. Boom, head off. So that's why I pushed this man. Don't lose this damn opportunity if you're a YouTuber or a content creator and just blow this shit to have fun. Take it serious, man. Stop with the games. It's not always good lucky time. Learn. Man, I'm going to shut up after this. Y'all have got to learn business and how to market yourself if you want to succeed on this platform. Everybody wants to blow up and go viral, but they don't understand. If you... I knew a guy who was making $300,000 a year on YouTube. I want you to guess how many subs he had. He made 300 k on YouTube with 3,000 subs. I know another person with 10,000 subs. Easily, easily cracking so much money, man. And it sounds stupid coming from me. Because I don't believe, it's hard to believe this stuff, guys. Like I said, I knew a YouTuber who had less subscribers than me. Now they're at 115 or something like that. I saw it happen in front of my face. And even me and her have had a discussion about, damn, girl, you're missing it. I told her, girl, you know how much money you could be making with all these subs? And you're going on vacations and shit? But, she, you know, she's not there yet. That, that's... Everybody gets there, man. Once she gains, and she's starting to gain more confidence. That girl's going to be a superstar on YouTube. Trust me on that. Once she starts taking this shit more serious and gets away from her friends, and she's starting to, man. She start going live. Ooh, boy, y'all don't even know. But my point is, guys, take it serious, man. But if you don't want to be a part of this life, don't move to Atlanta. Okay? Once again, it's a metaphor. You know what I mean? Don't get in this life. And come playing around. Get some of these people they don't play around like that. You think you the hot shit where you at? Don't don't come over here if you're not willing to compete. The same thing we tell women. Don't you go to Miami thinking you're gonna pick up a man. Not in Miami, you're not. You better be a hot nine or ten. It's not gonna work for you if you think you the shit and you go to Miami. It's gonna be a different world. Cause every woman out there is trying to look their best. And there's a lot of them, baby. Don't you go to L.A. You think you're going to be an actor. There's a lot of them out there, baby. It's going to be a long day for you. All right, that's it.